Welcome to 2.8's Math Moment. Today, students learn how to estimate decimal sums and differences. It says round to the nearest place value listed. So we need to run to the tenth spot. I'm going to go ahead and write this number down. I need to underline my tenth spot. And I always draw an arrow to the next one to the, to the neighbor next door, is what I tell my students. So look at the 7. It is a number that's going to push the number up. So we're going to round this number to 5 and 7 tenths. A key that the students can remember is 0 through 4 stays at the floor, so it's not going to change. And then 5 through 9 is going to change the number to one more. So looking at this, I'm going to go ahead and write down stays the same and rounds up. Now we're going to look at estimating a whole number. So we have 112 and 579 thousandths. Look at this number. We're going to look at the decimal, and then I'm going to find the whole number, which is my 2. I'm going to underline that, draw an arrow to the tenth spot. I look at my 5. My 5 says I need to round up one more, so that's going to make my 2 into a 3. Everything in front of the underlined digit stays the same. Everything behind it is going to become zeros. So I have 113 and 0, 0, 0. Those can roll away, just becoming 113. The next example is 89 and 98 thousandths. Looking at this one, I'm going to go ahead and write it down. And when I look at this one, I need to round this to the nearest thousandth. So I've got tenths, hundredths, thousandths. When I look at this one, there's nothing here. So when I look at this one, I know that this is going to just stay exactly the same. So I've got 89 and 98 thousandths. This one, next one, says to estimate the sum. What does it tell me what place value to round to? I round to the largest digit they have in common. So when we look at both of these numbers, they all go to the tens. So I'm going to underline my 10 and look next door. I've got a 4 here, a 5 next door. A 5 tells me to round up, so my answer is going to be 50. I'm also going to look at my 1. I've got a 3 next door, which tells me it's going to stay the same. So I'm going to add 13. When I add these two numbers together, I've got $63. When Julia rounded 23 and 41 hundredths to the nearest tenth, she found the number changed to 24. Is she correct? Explain. Well, let's go ahead and look at this number, 23 and 41 hundredths. I'm going to write it over here. 23 and 41 hundredths. Julia thinks the answer is 24. She needs to write it to the nearest tenth. I'm going to underline that. The tenth spot. When I round this to the tenth, I see that there's a 1 next door, which is going to keep it at just 4. So in this case, the answer should have been 23 and 4 tenths. So is Julia correct? No, she's not correct because she rounded it to the nearest, she rounded a whole number up. So in this case, she needs to make sure that when she rounds, she rounds to the tenth spot, the 1 keeps it the same and keeps the answer at 23 and 4 tenths. If you've got any questions about Lesson 2.8, see your math teacher.